Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan. And today we are going to set different shipping charges for different product item per quantity in WooCommerce WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are in card page and we have two product in our card page. Now you see ceramic buds, fabric mask. So we are going to set different shipping charges for different product item per quantity. Now you see ceramic bars. So we are going to set different shipping charges per product item for this quantity. And we are going to set different shipping charges per product item for this quantity. Now go to dashboard. On left side you see WooCommerce. And then you see settings. So click on it. Now we are in general setting. And then you see shipping. So click on it. And scroll down. You see shipping classes. So click on it. Again scroll down, we are in shipping classes. So we are going to create shipping classes for our different product. Now you see add shipping class, so click on it. So you can add shipping class name according to requirement like product 1. So we are going to add more. Now you see add shipping class. Now product 2. So you will create multiple shipping classes according to requirement. And then click on save shipping classes, so click on it. Now shipping class is saved and then you see shipping class slug description also you see product count. Now go to shipping zone so click on it again scroll down you see shipping zone and then you see add shipping zone button so click on it again scroll down you see shipping zone so you can add zone name according to your requirement. So we added name product 1 shipping rate per product quantity and then you see zone region. So we are using this shipping zone for all countries and then you see shipping method so click on add shipping method so click on it and then you see pop up drop down select flat rate and then you see button add shipping method so click on it. Now shipping method added and then you see edit button so click on it. Now you see flat rate setting method title so you can rename it according to requirement and then you see text status taxable. So currently we are not using tax status on our product. Now you see cost and then you see shipping class we created product 1 shipping class, product 2 shipping class. So we are going to assign different shipping rate for different product quantity. Now you see product 1 like 10 into quantity QTY and then you see question mark hover on it and then you see multiple instruction here use QTY for the number of item. Now you see product 1 and then you see product 2 like 20 into QTY. So we added 10 into quantity in product 1 shipping class cost and we added 20 into quantity in product 2 shipping class cost and then you see cost. Now remove 0. And then we are going to assign product 1 shipping class and product 2 shipping class to our product. It means if we have 4 quantity in product 1 shipping class, then our 4 quantity multiply by 10 into 40. And then you see product 2. If we have 1 quantity in product 2 shipping class, then multiply by 20 is equal to 20. So this is our different shipping rate for different product item per quantity. And we remove 0 from cost section. Now you see no value here. And then click on save changes. Now setting save. Go to card page. Now open both product. Now product open. Click on edit product. Now edit product open and scroll down. Go to product data. And then you see shipping. So click on it. And then you see shipping class. Drop down you see product 1. So we assign 10 into quantity for product 1 shipping class and then click on update. Go to another product. So scroll down go to product data and then you see shipping. So click on it and then you see shipping class drop down product 2 and then click on update. Now both product updated done. Go to cart page and refresh the page. So we have 5 items in our cart. So we assign product 1 shipping class for this product and we assign product 2 shipping class for this product and then scroll down you see flat rate 80. Now first 1 
and then click on update card now we have two quantity now you see card updated done so we have two item in our card now scroll down you see flat rate 30 so different shipping rate for different product item per quantity by using shipping class and we assign shipping class in our product and then click on update again now you see three item in card and then you see flat rate 40 20 for this product and 24 one quantity for this product back to edit product product data shipping we assign shipping class from here so you can assign this shipping class to any product back to woocommerce shipping then you see flat rate edit and then you see product one shipping class product two shipping class cost so you can assign value according to requirement so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching